Hi, we represent VJNNS, Vishaka Jilla Navnirman Samiti, headquartered at Nasipatnam, Vishakapatnam District, Andhra Pradesh. And we would like you to join us in a journey which we started several years ago to Chintapalli. Chintapalli Mandal is located in deep forest area within Eastern Ghats of Vishakapatnam District. Every other passing vehicle makes a must stop at Bodakondamma Temple. So did we. Since then, we never missed offering our prayers in the temple before entering the forest region. It is believed that it is she who protects the forest from all evil eyes. We continued our journey through difficult terrains to explore deep forest. We observed beautiful landscapes matching nothing less than Kashmir with a display of pleasant meadows and enchanting cascades. We continued a little deeper on mud roads to observe deforestation. Poorer villages. Less care for children. And the worst of all, water situation. Girl child carrying head loads of water made us to go a little more deeper. The natural oozes or springs were the only water source for these villagers. Absolutely unaware of any filtration method, people would collect spring water in whatever state it is. This water coming out of the cracks within hills are perennial sources and are available throughout the year. Water turns out murky during monsoons and people have no choice than to collect this water for their daily consumptions. We went to yet another village and the scene was no different. We noticed grim irony that people lacked basic hygiene and sanitation practices. Cleaning utensils, washing clothes and water collection for drinking purpose all go at one place. We did not stop there. We went to yet another village. People here collect water straight from the source, unmindful of the contamination. Poor ladies track a long distance spanning hilly region carrying heavy head loads. We went to several other villages and we were surprised to see every other village had same problem. People consuming contaminated water, child labor, heavy head loads, broken spring sources, unused bore well because of high iron content and inefficiently built water systems were at large. But we had a solution for this problem. Gravity fed water supply system. GFWSS. VJNNS, who has worked with several national and international donor organizations, approached them again with a proposal to build a self sustained water supply system and initiated a program called Niru Arugyam, meaning water and better health. It brought water to doorsteps. Needless to say, villagers got what they deserved what they have been looking for ages. Filtered spring water was made available for direct consumption. Now, what is gravity fed water supply system? It's a system comprising of a source tank, a filter come distribution tank, pipelines and stand posts. Source tank, also called as collection tank, would collect water 
from perennial source and would pass the same to filtration system. Filtration tank, usually three chambered, would filter the water using reverse filtration and slow sand filtration to be further passed on to the distribution tank built according to the need of the village. Stand post located at street level supplies water 365 days 24 bar 7 without any need for any external power source. Let's hear what the world has to say about it. They are working in very very remote parts of Vishakhapatnam, tribal areas where the uh, communications, the transport facilities, every infrastructure facilities are very very poor. So in such a situation they are working for many years, they have been uh, focusing on uh, gravity based water supply system which is very low cost and uh, no energy requirement and almost uh, maintenance free. I think the present work what they are doing is very good and it needs to be done in many more villages in this area. I think there are more than 100 such villages which badly need a, a proper water supply system. Hi Amitanshu. Hi Karthik. So I had a great trip and thanks to you for making it happen. And uh, it was looking at a uh, water supply system in, in very harsh terrains, very difficult places mm -hmm. where accessing water is not easy. And these projects that you are doing have made a quite a huge difference to people accessing water here. Okay. So hats off to VGNS for that. And uh, lots of learnings for me to take home also in terms of uh, the work that you're doing is quite unique. Okay. And uh, I'm sure uh, there are larger things that will come out of the work that you're doing. Now, let's hear what the community has to say. This video won't complete if we don't reveal the brain behind Vijayanna's success. Mr. Parth Sarthi, the man, the machine, the thought behind gravity-fed water supply system. The man who wouldn't begin his points without why because. Needless to say, Mr. Parth Sarthi is the untiring soul behind GFWSS. GFWSS is nothing but his brainchild. And the total system uh, is of zero maintenance. Whatever may be the maintenance we require is we have to remove this cum which forms in course of time. If it is too thick, it can, can be scrapped or sometimes the entire filter media can be built out and dried again we can put it. That is the only thing required. And so the maintenance is zero for the in intake or for outtake. The power consumption is zero again. And the water must be continuous. It should not be stopped in the second right. Because if it was stopped, uh, again there is a problem of developing bacteria. Is it? So the flow must be continuous. That is, it. is that how the quality is maintained? It's moving water and that is why there is no bacteria. But, yes, yes, yes. But if there is contamination, let's say, of fecal... Ah, yes, that's also completely closed, isn't it? 
There also we can contaminate through hands or anything. The and the source is safe. And the flow is through pipes. Through pipes. But this filter, what does it take care of? Is it only bacterial or uh, ah, generally it's chemical? Yeah, so the impurities and biological impurities. Right. Chance of contaminating anywhere from the beginning till the end. It's so covered. Yes, completely. Last but not the least, VJNS staff would like to thank all our supporters from across the world. Thank you for being our strength in achieving what we have done so far. And we hope to receive similar support in future for us to extend our reach to newer areas. Thank you once again.